Hey, what's going on everyone? It's B. Avery here again for another trailer reaction. And this one is for Star Wars The Last Jedi, Episode 8 Behind the Scenes. Don't know if this is actually just a real trailer, some behind the scenes like some featurette, or a mixture of both. So it's D23, Summer 2017. Let me go ahead and put these um, headphones on real quick. And actually, before I press play, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to press play. I'm going to tell you that after... I watch this two minute and 58 second video. Here we go. Everybody start. Three, two, one. Action. I am excited. Eight. Gosh. The first film didn't even have a number. Ryan has written a story that's unexpected but right. Some of the stuff that happens, people are going to be like, oh my god. <laughs> well, come on now. Even though I think I know it all, they throw things at me story-wise I never could have imagined. And even though everybody knows that it's the second in the trilogy, it feels like its own thing. That's a lovely score. Go. Star Wars is so cool because there's all these creatures and all these amazing visual effects. But all the characters are also so complex. Ryan needs to work on his Wookiee self. That's so. <laughs> Ridiculous. New director. I can't even just learn a Wookiee sound. <laughs> It feels like the storylines are becoming more established. We're really getting to know these new characters. Also with the characters that we know and love. We're seeing their lives mm. change. Everything is being shifted in an opposite way to what the audience expected after seven. Right? <laughs> I'm going with, with the beat. And new. I'm hoping it'll be a little shocking, but I'm hoping it'll feel real and honest. <laughs> it's our most ancient story of mm, good against evil, more. told in the most fascinating way. But it has a real spiritual depth to it. It's about family, oh and that's what's so powerful about it. That's what's up right there. That's what's up. I mean, I'll take this off real quick. Man, you know, I'm like never like ever excited. I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan. I'm not a diehard fan. I don't know all the backstories and all the books and, you know, all that stuff. But I have seen all the films and, you know, um, I haven't seen I seen like a little bit of the Clone Wars movie and I wasn't interested and I saw like the first episode of the actual series and I heard it wasn't that good so I haven't watched that the other uh, show that they have um, uh, XD um, I forgot what it's called but I want to watch it I just haven't got around to that yet um, as far as the Star Wars movies like you know the Force Awakens and I have my copy I'm sure you guys do too got my copy of Rogue One as well I like Rogue One more um, I really did enjoy this, especially with that Darth Vader scene at the end. Only reason I did not prefer The Force of Awakens more, I mean, it was a great movie, but like most people, you know, it was too much like a New Hope episode four. So, um, you know, I did like Rogue One more. I am very excited about this. I like the trailer that they released back in like March or April of this year. Uh, this wasn't really a trailer. It was, uh, you know, like you saw behind the scenes. And, you know, I, I was just kind of just like, you know, OK, expectations and, you know, my excitement level. But after seeing this, that was just a great uh, piece of art that they put together that feature right there. It looked freaking fantastic. Um, it was so, um, 
you know, crazy to see uh, Carrie Fisher there, you know, um, a rest in peace. It's like I, I kind of forgot that, you know, she had passed uh, and I was, oh, yeah, she she's she's not here anymore, you know, but she's still going to be in this movie, you know, so that that was touching right there. But it, it looked real good. I mean, like it really feels like they're going to create something special here, you know, because. Uh, while I like I said, while I really did, you know, of course, the main Star Wars trilogy, that's, you know, one of the best, if not the best trilogy out there it was so great, beloved by millions and millions of people all around the world. You know, of course, we had the prequels and, you know, how that turned out. And, uh, you know, episode seven, The Force Awakens was good. But at the same time, it just really didn't feel like a real fresh Star Wars movie to me. You know, not saying that it was bad. I didn't enjoy it. But, you know, just to be honest, it, you know, did bite off episode four just a little bit. And Rogue One was great. But, you know, that was, you know, in the past. So, you know, we'll see what Ryan Johnson can do. You know, he directed Looper. Got my copy of that as well. Love this movie with Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis. Fantastic film. He wrote and directed this. And, you know, now he's doing The Last Jedi. So, you know, we'll see. I really think uh, I, I kind of feel like, you know, this is going to... Um, I don't want to say, you know, be a game changer, you know, that's thrown around. But, you know, this could really possibly be uh, one of the best movies of all time, you know, in that argument, in that conversation, you know, uh, with, you know, the first two Star Wars movies or whatever. So I'm really looking forward to it. Can't wait to see John Boyega. I want to see some crazy lightsaber battles. And uh, yeah, so guys, that was just my opinion on the latest footage from D23, Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer or uh, featurette behind the scenes. What did you think? Did this turn you on? Did it turn you off? You know, are you excited about this? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Also, guys, since you're watching this video on YouTube, Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get all the content that I have to provide. It's D23. Next week, we're going to have Comic-Con. You can go to my website, bookmark it, check me out there, and also look me up on social media. And guys, you know it. I'm super duper excited for the Black Panther movie that's coming out February 16th of 2018. I cannot wait. That is like my most anticipated movie in life. And, you know, I'm just really excited about it. And I would be even more excited if I actually had the chance to be on the red carpet, red carpet, or on the side with the fans or whatever how can you help me get there you can share this video 1,000 times it's a long shot you know hell yeah you know but hey I'm going for it so share this video 1,000 times and I will really appreciate it but guys I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my trailer uh, behind the scenes feature at reaction slash review for Star Wars the last Jedi from D23 and before you go don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion Peace.